I had this shirt on. My Halloween John Carpenter Michael Myers shirt. And I was going to change and then I was like, well, do I need to? Considering <laughs> what we've been seeing. You're going crazy! Crazy? I'm crazy! Hi you dolls, welcome back and if you are new, hello my name is Jesse, and today we are going to react to Season 1, Episode 3 of Swarm Taste. Dre takes road trip. I love these super, super short synopsises. There are certain shows where if you read the synopsis, you're like, oh, that gave away a lot. Like, it'll be like, somebody almost dies. And then you can see in the episode, like, someone's sick, you know? And you're like, okay, obviously it's this person. But I like little teasers so i like reading them so it's really hard for me to not read them certain shows i don't certain ones i do so these i like that it gives you like a little taste if you will dry takes a road trip but no because she's got a dead body in her trunk she just murdered a man and framed it on four other women so. i 100 percent do not feel safe right now Let's see what happens next, but before we do, don't forget to throw in the like button, just like if you do, do not like super comment down below, let me know why, subscribe if you haven't yet, we do fun things here, bring the link down to be notified when I upload new videos, don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon, it is $5 a month, it's only $1.25 a week, it is all of my unedited reactions, I love everything I do on YouTube, and it is more, don't forget to follow us on all social media, at star underscore chef underscore productions, or at Jesse Dobby for Twitter, but without further ado, this is season one, episode three of Swarm Taste. Ah. Greatest performance ever. And in Someone told me the girl who plays Marissa, Chloe, Chloe, was Chloe. Her name's Chloe Bailey. Chloe Elizabeth Bailey, also known by her ma. Oh no, mononymous, 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 mononymous. Know what this is stage name chloe best known for being one half of the musical duo chloe x haley with her sister haley ba bailey a dozen haley bailey together they have earned five grammy award nominations since 2018 that's crazy but i didn't know that i was like she kind of looks Intention like haley bailey the greatest ever. Like, are you now i know what <laughs> So Nigel is a god. Nigel is our sister. Yeah. They can't dance like her. They can't breathe while doing it at the same time. And if I see another one of them with another leotard and knee pads, I'm a one of these. I promise you that. Yeah, yeah. That's a not age well. It is okay. Yeah. Protect her at all costs. Oh my god. This did not age well. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> Seattle, Washington, December 2017. Hello? She's just in some guy's house? Ow! Who's your favorite artist? What? It's your favorite scary Who movie. Is your favorite? Lil Gibble. Lil, Lil Gibble? How many Grammys does Lil Gibble have? Naja has 26. He is nothing but Naja. She couldn't keep a man happy. I, I, I didn't say that. I, I, I did it. Said it on the Twitter, didn't ya? Twitter? Justifying all of her with people that say bad things about Nyjah to protect her. Girl, you got blood all over your slippers. It sounds like one B this time. Oh, wait, she's cleaning up blood. We can't dance happy to this. Oh, is a YouTuber? I love Nyjah. I love Nyjah so much. Nyjah's the best. Never loved showers like that. Looking at it, I would feel too exposed, which is ironic because I'm naked in the shower. I think everybody is, but. He was one person. What is he doing with all of that food? Uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm fine with this one. You know what's interesting, though? Did y'all catch that? It came from Marissa's phone. She is now hallucinating. She's starting to lose it. Well, starting to. I think she did. But you know what I mean, right? You get what I'm saying, right? 
We know she lost it, but. Subpar music? But you would rather spend your time spreading hate. I pray God helps them. You might as well be praying for yourself. Dude, that's talent. She's peeing while she's uh, phone surfing. I need both I'm hands. Damn, she found her fast. She must not have been that far. Is she gonna follow her or go into her house? Can't just walk in. You have to be a member. I left my pants at home. Yeah, we're app only. Danny. He's totally Nikki's helping her. friend from Drag Brunch? Obviously, he doesn't know her. <gasps> hey. Oh my god, hi! Is this woman being racist? <laughs> <laughs> She's with me. Do the crystal healing, right? I wanted to talk to you about that. The crystals, not the braids. But now wait, that you are back in town. I'm booking you a. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! No, he really thinks that she's someone else. Oh my god! I totally thought that he was trying to help her. Like he was like, oh, she's trying to sneak it. I'll just like I'll play it off like she's me. No, he thinks she's a different black girl. Oh my god! Oh my god! Tap. What are your avails? Okay. <laughs> kind of a cunt it's and like does so like no ab work. You're kidding. I'll meet you back out here, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought he was helping her sneak Bye. in. Oh, don't do it in the elevator, though. You will not be able to get away with this in the elevator. Who is your favorite artist? jacket she full-on thinks that marissa's talking to her and like with her helping her kitty cat he's got a cat tree he's totally fine then he's a cat person he's not crazy don't make any noise he'll find me smooth i'm pretty sure i can make you something you work a lot of concerts yeah, I do. I'm a big fan. What? What's your favorite song? Hmm. The hell is up with this? All right, this guy's a nut. This guy's a nut. No. I mean... <laughs> That's Jay's. That is not mine. Who has portraits of animals dressed up as people? Look who. All these psychos. Oh, Why not just get a removed? I think they're beautiful. Especially mine. She's fine. <laughs> I have my own food. Huh. Bust it out then. Shit. I've never seen her eat anything other than junk food. But Remember the strawberry? She ate it and then she spit it out. Uh, nope. I thought it was because there was a penis sorry, last time she saw a strawberry. But... Be obese. I only eat this, oatmeal, salad. On the weekend I have a smoothie. I can't keep them in the house because it makes me weak. You ever deal with addiction? Yeah. You could say that. It never really goes away. Sometimes it's good to give in. Is she gonna kill this guy? <laughs> you can eat them, eat them. Come here. No, I'm eating. God, oh my god, that's, oh, that is making me want to clean <sighs> the anxiety in my soul. I'm like, I need to wipe the counters. This can't let that happen again, okay? What are you going to do today? Bored? Let you notice it without noticing. You know what I'm saying? Shanice. Nice to meet you. Shanice. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. He's my favorite. We need to go. What if we just... No. <laughs> okay. It's not your sister. Oh. We're kind of vibing. Cool. Yo! Shanice! Why? He's been nice. Oh my god, with an entire cake, he's gonna eat the entire cake. I feel like he would have been a lot more useful if she kept him around. He looked really familiar. <laughs> she 
there. She's there. There she is. For Nyjah, she'll eat fruit, because it's Nyjah's fruit. <gasps> what? What? Did you just bite Nyjah? She bit her? Dre, you bit her? And she's bleeding. She bit her hard. You know who that was? Chick from Love and Basketball. Oh my, was, is that the end of the episode? <laughs> what the fuck? That went so fast. It's these two guys the whole time. What the fuck is this show? I just love it. It's so weird, but I love it. All right, there you have it. Episode three, Taste. It's such a good show. It, this is so my kind of show. It's weird. It's quirky. It's funny. It's scary. It is so entertaining. So we start off where we're now in Washington. We had to get away. We had to get away. We are now in Washington. And we are also now getting messages from Marissa. We saw, obviously, in the first episode, Dre text Marissa and then from Marissa's phone, text Dre back. But now we're just getting texts from Marissa. They're just popping up on the phone because Marissa's just texting Dre. And I think this is being reinforced through the video that she keeps watching. It's making her think of her and she's on her mind. And it's her way of coping with Marissa dying. Marissa's not dead. Marissa's very much so alive. And I'm still talking to her. And she's helping me through this whole process. Don't you see that? It's her way of coping. Uh, we find out our next victim is this woman who is politically fighting against Nyjah's music, calling her you know, a, a harassment up against the cops, and that she's promoting racism, and she's a f***ing So we track her down and get into the gym with the help of this man who completely mistakes her identity. I totally thought he was going to be like, oh, I got you. It's fine. Like, I know you're trying to sneak in and help her, but no, he's just a asshole that mistook her for someone else. And she gets in, she gets this close. She gets this close. Oh, after murdering someone, by the way, how could I forget? Because we literally start with her murdering someone. I think it's interesting, too. Now I'm noticing patterns. We're noticing a pattern, right? Every time she's about to murder someone, she asks who their favorite artist is. Who's your favorite artist? And then she tells them why they're wrong and why Nyjah's better. I think she's 20. I should know by now. She's got 22, 29. Nyjah here is 26. 26, 29. 20-something 20 Grammys. And they only have one, or this person only that. And she's targeting people, once again, that are attacking Nyjah. Because in the video, Marissa says we have to protect her. She's our queen. And so the first guy that she kills in this episode is somebody who tweets, like a tweet, really? Somebody who tweeted out that she can never, she can never please her man, or she can never keep her man, or something like that. And so again, that's why we're attacking this woman now. We get very close in the elevator, but Marissa's message says, follow the jacket and we find out that this guy who very normally has animals in portraits in people clothing um i'm weird i'm a weirdo is uh working for i forget it cache is working for this uh this performer cache and uh, they have this interesting situation where they're it, it, it's funny because you think that he's going to be creepy, right? Your initial reaction is he's going to be creepy. He's going to try to make a move on her. He's going to try to sleep with her. But no, they have this like intense sexual experience via eating, via food. Like, because he has been Mr. Health Kick, hasn't had junk food in a while. They're feeding each other chips and rolling around in the donuts. And it's such an interesting scene because it's what you're expecting but not quite what you're expecting we go to this uh this show after she locks him into a freezer i don't see the point of that because i feel like he could have been useful but at the same time she kind of wants to ditch him right that's why she did it she wants she wants to ditch him she's like all i need is his pass i can get into the after party and he's already getting a little clingy, saying, like, oh, we're vibing, aren't we? So we'll lock him in the freezer with a cake, unfortunately for him. 
and I'll just go follow Nyjah's sister. I think that's what it is. She saw Nyjah's sister, and she's like, I don't need him anymore. I, I gotta see Nyjah's sister. I'm gonna go follow Nyjah's sister. I made a point to say that I've never seen her eat vegetables or fruit or anything like that. He tries to serve her broccoli, and she's like, nope, she's always eating junk food. But... A tray of plums is presented in front of her when she sees Nyja, and she just instinctively takes it and bites it and starts eating it. This scene is really interesting. It's, I love things that leave your mind to make up the pieces. And I said that in the first episode, right? At the very end where she kills, um, Khalid. She kills Khalid. And they show her on top of him swinging like the like swinging her arms with the with the object in her hands hitting him. But you don't see his head get smashed in like you did at the beginning of this episode. But you don't see that, right? And so in this case, she's eating the plum, eating the plum, eating the plum. And then the next thing you know, she's terrified. She steps back. She's like very scared and terrified. And some girl says, did you just bite Nyjah? She was so infatuated with the eating the plum and looking at her that she just lost herself and she bit Nyjah. And you can hear someone yell as she's running out. Oh my God, she's bleeding. She's bleeding. And then she just runs away. She just runs away. She freaking bit Nyjah, which is crazy because, you know, it, it, I think it's trying to show that she's so obsessed with Nyjah. She wants to do everything to protect her, right? Which is why she's murdering all these people because she needs to be protected because these are bad people. But she herself is a threat to Nyjah because the love for her is so intense. It's borderline scary. It's an obsession. That's the difference. It's not love. It's an obsession. There's a very fine line, I feel, but it's obsession and obsession can get scary and dangerous great episode. I'm assuming that we're going to have to find some shelter of some sort. Um, we're probably going to just go back in the car and go to that girl's house. We know where she lives. So we're probably going to go to her house, track her down. Intense episode, but it was great. Until the next reaction. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.